everyone. We're here from um, we're here in the DoTerra leadership in California, Long Beach, and we're here with the CEO of APRC. So, would you like to tell us a little bit about APRC and what we're here to yes, My name is Aaron Sorensen, and I'm the owner and uh, founder of APRC. Uh, APRC is the concept of APRC, something that I and my, my partner, Dr. Satyal, have talked about for a few years now. And uh, last year, we officially incorporated it and uh, started talking with doTERRA about what we can do and uh, our capabilities and expertise and aligned it very, very well with what their mantras are, what they want to accomplish as a business and as uh, a community uh, of people around. So. Um, we are specialized in adulteration protection. Uh, there's really, I'm not aware of other labs that have the expertise and the ability to see adulteration like APRC is. Now, we also work very closely with, with farmers and uh, in the field with uh, sourcing agents to be able to see if what they're doing is sustainable. And so, really, everything that APRC does, does is upstream from when you are placed in your body, ensuring that. Uh, well, farmers are, are doing things properly, it's harvested properly, that it's sustainable, and then also all the testing needed to ensure quality and that it's pure and natural. Okay, that's amazing. So you said um, you're the only company that's able to do that to the same to that level. To Why degree. is to this degree? Why is that? So any laboratory who knows what they're doing oh, can, oh, yes. can can produce a GCMS report and do many other tests yes. that are very valuable in helping to ensure quality of essential oils. But uh, there's a great deal of adulteration, very intelligent adulteration. The intent is specifically to fuel GCMS and even other uh, very sophisticated means of testing. Uh, Dr. Satyal is one in the world I know that has his PhD in specifically in adulteration of essential oils and how to protect it. So anytime that you manipulate an oil, a trail is left. And those are the things that we're experts in seeing looking at more than a thousand components in every sample, seeing those minor components and the footprints, if you will, that are left as you manipulate an oil, that's what we're experts in doing. Okay, so no other company are doing that because they're not, they don't have the, um, the staff, the resources, the... It's, it's a very special, like, a very niche field. I mean, right, you know, okay. How, how many other people spend eight years going yeah. to school specifically to determine how to look at filtration detection? Yes. It's yeah, just something that yeah. is of interest to Dr. Satyal, and uh, he's been able to help train many on our team to, to do it uh, almost as well as he can, but he's still the, the best in business. Where are you leasing the space from doTERRA, and you're going separate now? So, uh, so we do have we have an office in North Carolina. Uh, that's where one of our board members, Dr. Brian Lawrence, is housed. We have other board members throughout the United States. We are currently leasing a small amount of space for doTERRA to do all of their testing for them in-house and manufacturing. We do have another lab a few cities down in Lehigh that we do all of our uh, testing for all their clients. Okay, so you are independent yes. of doTERRA. That's, That's right. the important That's right. Part. We, they send us the samples, we tell them yeah. the unfiltered results, say this is exactly what we're seeing, and it's been great. So do you do testing for other companies as well? We do. Okay. And do you tell who those companies are, or is that... So that we do have confidential agreements with, with all of our clients. doTERRA has chosen to be very public about working with us. I would suspect that there'll be other companies that would want to come forth that we've been testing with, but they have a little bit of work to do to think to, to clean up some of their own. What drives you? Because this is like, like you said, it's a very, <laughs> I mean, it's like a crazy small little corner of everything. So what, like, what brought you there? And what well, so I, th I think cool. I think like you guys too. Once you started learning about essential oils and, and what they are, and where they come from, and how in depth, and you could spend a lifetime yeah. researching one of the oils, and there's thousands of them. Uh, so it really is just this fascinating industry that uh, you learn something every day. And there's really more that you can do, and I think there are great benefits to people out there too. So um, it's just really something that's fascinating to me, and I really enjoy doing it. So. And oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and then, um, did you start then before you knew about doTERRA, or did doTERRA inspire you to start this company? I'm no. just trying to find the link. Sure. I've worked with doTERRA in a variety of capacities for okay. almost six years now. Fine, okay. And so, uh, I've done a lot of different work with, um, with them and, and other entities. And so, uh, 
but I did see a need, as Dr. Satya and all that, and I did see that there was something like APRC. If there's anything else out there, we'd be able to find. So what if we did it ourselves? And could be honest and upfront and just say, hey, when an oil is adulterated, here's exactly how it was adulterated and what it is. And again, also working in the field and ensuring sustainability of the products. And, um, so yeah, that's amazing. And how many scientists do you have working with you? I know there's, what, six of you, so is we've that got, We've right? got six of us in Utah. Okay. Three others throughout the United States. Cool. And we're actually expanding internationally right now. Too. And England? Not England right now. Even though Brian Lawrence is from England, right? Brian Lawrence is from England, yes. We've got our Brit representative. Exactly. So we've, we've actually had a very diverse team. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dr. Satyal is from Nepal, who grew up there originally. Uh, Dr. Vasilki, who oversees a lot of our biological testing and heavy component uh, detection. She's from Egypt. Um, and uh, Ryan's from England. Dr. Lawrence is from England. And Anjanette is from Vermont. She travels all around. She's, she's basically a Somalian now. She spent so much time there. And Dr. Setzer is also uh, very knowledgeable. He does all of our research, uh, just diving in and really understanding everything that's been done in the industry and writing our papers and, and presenting all the information that we're finding. And it's not papers about what.